Hey, Cross Kingdom Church family. This is your Wednesday refresher. If you remember last Sunday, we talked about Saul and walking in your destiny and how Saul was minding his own business one day and his father's donkeys were lost and his dad said, hey, go find the donkeys. And in the midst of just doing this mundane task of trying to find some lost donkeys, Saul actually stumbled over his destiny and he met the seer Samuel and soon after that he found out he was anointed to be the very first king of all of Israel and he started out that day simply just being obedient to what his dad requested of him to find the donkeys. Well as we read further on into 1 Samuel specifically in 1 Samuel 13 and again in 1 Samuel 15 we see that Saul had a very big stronghold called the fear of man. And it was actually because of this fear, it cost him the kingdom. Samuel said, God would have, would have established the kingdom in your bloodline forever. See, the first mistake was because of the fear of man, uh, Samuel had requested of Saul that he waited seven days. Well, the seven days came and Samuel was tarrying, he was stuck, and he was late. And Saul, because of his fear of the people, stepped out of the role of king and into the role of priest and offered a sacrifice. And then again two chapters later, in chapter 15, there was uh, uh, a group of people uh, devoted to complete destruction and he kept the king alive, Agag, and also kept the best of all the livestock for the people. And again, it was because of the fear of man. And so the kingdom was removed from Saul and given to David. It said that, I, that God had sought out a man after his own heart. So the fear of man cost Saul from being able to reign, his bloodline reign forever. Now, obviously, God knew this would happen because of the Messiah coming out of the tribe of Judah. But think about that. Examine. I want to. I want to challenge you today as a refresher. Examine your life and see where fear has cost you. It says in Scripture, it says that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Many times, fear masquerades as wisdom. Many times, we've put up such walls over our heart because of fear, and then we've convinced ourselves that fear no longer has a place in our life. Well, I just wanted to leave you all with those thoughts for the day. Just a refresher from what we uh, spoke on last Sunday. I pray that each of you are having an amazing week and I look forward to seeing y'all this Sunday. Blessings.